Is the wet like collodion process dangerous? Short answer, yes it is. No. Long answer, also yes. But if you work with the right safety measures, you can lower the risk a lot. So let's start with ether. Ether is like an explosive if it comes in contact with fire. Look at this video here that I linked to where some guys uh, ignited uh, ether. It's crazy how it looks like, so be very careful. Uh, when you get a fresh batch of ether, mix it immediately with alcohol so it's more stabilized. You mix it anyway with alcohol for your iodizer, right? And also wear a proper mask because it's bad for your liver if you inhale too much ether and alcohol. And ether is heavier than air, right? So it sinks down to the ground and you won't smell it there anymore. So work in a well-ventilated area, it's pretty easy. Open your window, uh, open uh, your door and uh, have a, a, vent a well-ventilated area. That's all I can say to that. Cadmium. Cadmium is carcinogenic and can cause cancer. That means if you use a collodion formula that includes cadmium, wear a proper mask, wear safety goggles and wear uh, gloves. And if you mix cadmium, just immediately dissolve it in water so it doesn't can get airborne. And uh, get your blood tested twice a year. It's pretty easy, that's what I do. I get my blood tested twice a year for cadmium and for my liver and all other stuff. And I'm all fine because I work with the right safety measures. Silver nitrate. Everything that comes in contact with silver nitrate will turn black. So wear your safety goggles, protect your eyes because you don't want to get blind. Everybody has such beautiful eyes and protect them. Wear your, also your gloves so you don't get black hands. It's not that dangerous, but it's not pretty and it's not necessary because you can wear uh, your gloves. So that's easy. For gloves, use gloves like this one. They are made of uh, nitrile, nitrile. I'm not sure how you say that in English. They are acid resistant. Silver nitrate or a strong vinegar cannot go through your gloves. Don't use any with latex, use nitrile gloves. If you're finished with your shooting, wash your hands and change your clothes. It's pretty easy to do. If you travel with the chemicals, like on an on-site shooting, be sure to use a proper case that's protect that has protection. I have a sealed case uh, where I don't smell any ether through it. It has forms in it that uh, protects all my bottles. Looks like that one. And then you're safe also when you're traveling with your car. Another very important thing, please do a proper disposal of your chemicals. I'm pretty sure where you live there's a place for uh, chemical disposals. Just go there, bring your chemicals there and let the bros there do the disposal for you. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't drain your chemicals down uh, the sink or somewhere else. It's really bad for the environment, don't do it. And now enjoy this beautiful process, be safe and enjoy it until you are very old like me. Until you are very old like me. Or something like that. <laughs> so there's one more thing. Uh, since now you can book online workshops in my studio, that means I bring you virtually into my studio. You get all the information you need. Uh, you get a book, you get a recording of the whole session, so you can watch uh, the wet plate workshop again and again, and you get supports afterwards. So if you have still need help and have questions, you can contact me and we figure it out and I'll help you until you get your first uh, proper plate out of your camera. So the link to my workshops are here, to my online work workshops. Just let me know if you have any more questions and I'm gonna help you out. So that's the end of my first shorts video on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it and you know what's coming right now. I'll be back guys. <laughs>